Hi guys, how is everyone? Uh, it's just sort of walk, walkie talkie here. Um, grim weather in the UK today and it kind of reflects uh, the grim situation on YouTube, right? Um, I just wanted to make this video because I wanted to show my respect to the Rusek family and I'll continue to do that and I've never wavered from that since the beginning, since uh, over three years ago now. Yeah. Um, I want to say thank you to the Ruzek family for inspiring me and others. I'm so thankful that they communicate the truth. I'm so inspired by their grace, considering what they've been through. I will never understand why these horrific channels are now picking on the family. Mm. When the family have done nothing to anyone and the family are the victims here, Frankie, Sandra and Frank and the rest of the family, because remember it's not just them, it's a ripple effect throughout friends, family, for generations to come what happened to them. But they were forced to get on social media because of a certain channel bite that down and promptly blocked and from that moment onwards these channels turned on the Ruzek family they turned on the family that had half of their family annihilated in such a gruesome way why would anyone do that I would love for one of these channels to come over here and tell me why why you continue to make these dreadful accusations and abuse the Ruzeks and harass the Ruzeks and are so unbelievably cruel just to the Ruzeks. Why? This is a family that have done nothing but act graciously and are starting to clap back. And as soon as they started to clap back, they were targeted in a way that I've never seen before. And we have this channel owner um, complaining that he's got a high blood pressure and people are out to get him falsely and there is three years of evidence visual evidence of his abuse and harassment of the Ruzek family there's a creator called Snow Bunny I think her name is Snow Bunny and um, she was a mod for this uh, for this channel and AD Subs, if you can get to see her, please, please watch her. She, um, there's a channel called Salty and um, Snow Bunny is up there. So Snow Bunny used to be on that channel. And she talks about it so openly. And this was one of the hardcore mods. Now we do have another mod that openly admitted that um, she was asked by the creator to go and do a welfare check on Mary Marlowe. Which probably ended Mary Marlowe's YouTube career. Um, that's a fact, and you can find that recording. And it's the same with uh, Snow Bunny, that she started to talk about the things that she'd done, that she was literally brainwashed uh, by this channel owner and did horrific things. And the guilt that she was left with for doing this to the Ruzak family left her having to go and get um, mental health in a ward and then therapy for 18 months or something, no, nine months she said and the guilt still won't leave her and it was the same with other mods as well they ended up having to be hospitalized due to grief and shame of what they'd done and I just implore anyone who is continuing to be so horrific in the comments section of this channel and making videos taunting harassing, sneering, jeering at the Ruzek family as if they're comic book characters. They're not real. These are real people. And it was interesting because when um, Baubles was asked, how would you feel if it was you? She couldn't even answer. And that question was asked again, would you like it? And she couldn't answer. And the only thing she could say was, she can't put herself in that position. No, you can't. None of us can. I see channels going specifically after Frankie, disrespecting Sandra and Frank. Shanann's parents. 
the girl's grandparents. Two people that should be living their life peacefully at this stage of their life. And not only are they having to deal with the memories, the grief, replaying every moment, the last moments of their daughter's life. What happened? What happened? How, what did she look like? What did she smell like? How did she sound? The girls, everything, every single minute of their waking life and even in their dreams. And then on top of that, you have creators, and I use that term very loosely on here, absolutely exploiting every single part of, this, of these deaths and destroying the family that's left. And I have to ask subs, creators, will you be happy when you do destroy one of them? If one of them takes their life? Or if one of them just can't go on anymore? Would you then feel happy? Would you then say the disgusting things that you say about Frankie Ruzek, his mother, you know, I heard a creator the other day say, I don't like that Sandra Ruzek. She never looked bubbly to me. Yeah, somebody actually said that. And I wonder how bubbly this creator would be if they'd had four members of their family brutally murdered. And then have scum on YouTube making up all kinds of lies about it. I wonder how bubbly we'd all be at that point, right? I think about my mother. And if it had happened to me, my mother was left. And people like these creators, like the AD channel, Daniel Bishop channel, Natasha Cooper, Save Robbie, all of that lot, spoke about my mother like that. And if you're listening to this, subs, AD subs, I beg you, I implore you to go and just listen to some of the truth channels. They're all independent channels. There is no gang. That's just a fabrication made up just for dramatic effect. There's no gang. We all live in completely different parts of the globe. We all have very different viewpoints. We have different, um, we even argue, we, we, you know, in chats to each other. No, I don't agree, I don't, I don't, you know, we're not a gang. It's separate people, individuals who are just standing up for what we see, what we've seen and heard. And it's all there. It's all there. Anything that was even deleted will be found by the court. If you can, listen to the other side. Because I would not want more people like Snow Bunny to make a realisation and then have it destroy their lives through guilt and shame. Because we've all made mistakes, we've all been hoodwinked. But when it comes at the expense of a surviving family that lost half of their family, children, baby, You have to look at why one side is on YouTube and then look at why the Ruzex are on YouTube. And then step back, listen to both sides. And then as an adult, make a bit more of an informed decision or uh, opinion because the guilt that you might be left with for things that you've said remember is going to be with you forever everything that you've said on YouTube will, can be found again and you've just put it out there for the world to see and the comments that I've read about this family make me sick to my stomach and some of these creators make me sick to my stomach. None of them will ever face anyone. None of them will ever discuss anything. None of them will ever answer questions because they know what they're doing. Now you can say what you like about me or the other truth channels, but the Ruzek family to me are a precious group of people 
to even survive and get up every day must be hell. The same as any other family who's, who's, who's experienced the same. The Gabby Petito's family. And the same thing will happen with them. You know, someone was, someone was um, online the other day going, oh yeah, look at the Petito family, look at the Ruzek family, look at the difference. What, what difference? The Ruzek family had their tragedy three years ago. Petito family are going through it now. Petito family have already gone on Dr. Phil. What, what, there is no point. Any of these, none of these people have any point. If you ask them face to face, why are you making abusive videos about the Ruzek family? when they don't even talk to you, they don't address you, they don't have anything to do with you, you would not get an answer because there is no reason, because they can, that's it. But as a sub of these creators, you can make a choice and inform yourself, ask questions. Ask questions of these, these creators that go on about the Ruzeks. Look into things. Hear different points of view. You know, use critical thinking, use your head. Get out there and learn and explore and really ask questions. Because otherwise we're gonna have thousands of people out there feeling this sort of low level depression once all of this comes out for believing it in the first place. And it's better to have an, make an informed opinion. By all means, come and ask me questions. Come and speak to me. Um, trolling, no. Abusing, no. Uh, all of that rubbish. It's all been done. All been done is old news. Been around here for three years. So. But any new subs that want to ask questions, come to one of us and ask questions. You know, I've got a channel, other people have got a channel. It's quite clear what we do. And I do this because I support the Ruzex and I always will. And I just wanted to say that, that Ruzex family, thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for acting so graciously. But finally, thank you. Thank you for finally clapping back. And I wish you all the best and good luck.